I like to know how and why things are the way they are. Being able to teach not only the science behind something, but sort of the cultural aspect of, of the people who live in this place, their interactions with the land, it resonates with people more than, than any other way they can possibly learn a subject. My name is Houston Wade, and I'm a geologist and college math and science professor. I have created a television show called Get Your Rocks Off with Houston. The idea behind the show is that each episode, we're focusing on a different rock, gemstone, mineral, or geologic phenomena. We kind of talk about how the Earth made it, uh, famous examples of it out there, what it can be used for, uh, and then we go and get it. I think so. The goal of that show is to teach people where stuff comes from. Uh, two is to get them outside. Three, get people to realize the human relationship with the Earth and that everything we use is either mined or grown. We may not necessarily approve of on a personal level, but it's the only way in our current system we can get these resources. Right? Slave labor, child labor, uh, poor environmental records, poisoning of the earth to get these products to us. But it's the nature of our economy. And I want people to sort of recognize and see that everything they use has a cost and that sometimes we can't avoid that cost in the modern age. And until we help something better, that's, that's the bargain we made. Anyone who watches this, I want you to look at where you live and sort of wonder why it is the way it is. What is it about how humans use the resources in their area to sort of becomes a way they define themselves as a culture? And I want you to sort of look inward and realize what is your relationship to the landscape that you're in and how is that defined by the landscape itself. My name is Michelle Prom, and I currently go to Seattle Film Institute and my major is in acting. The first trip that we went to was to Discovery Park and that also featured Fort Lawton. The second field trip we went to was to the Arboretum, which also featured the Seattle Japanese Gardens. And then the last field trip that we took to was through downtown Seattle, where we walked along the pier and through parts of the old downtown and um, talked about uh, how some of our city was made as well. Um, Los Angeles was the Part of the field trip that surprised me the most definitely was the geology bit and learning about um, the earth and the structure that our land is built on, you know, knowing that we could use part of that, you know, to, to build up where we live. Like, it's really cool to be so integrated, you know, into our land like that. Houston Wade, uh, very intelligent and absolutely uh, hilarious as well. He made the field trip super interesting. No turtles. No turtles. I think one of my favorite things he showed us was um, going along the beach and uh, picking out all the natural gemstones that we have available. I've taken other geology type classes and always got bored to tears, but this was probably one of the first ones that I've been on where I wanted to learn a little bit more. And I came away feeling a little, little bit smarter. I say that people should absolutely get excited about Houston Wade's TV show. He's got a lot of humor. Uh, he lights up anytime you get him asking about any topic that has to do with geology. And, you know, he won't hesitate to stop and, you know, take a look at a rock and tell you everything there is to know about it. it makes it exciting. It almost, you know, you feel connected more to the subject versus just learning the hard facts, you know, from a book. <laughs>